Are you using SharePoint and Microsoft Teams to work on documents? My name is Shimon Bochniak from Microsoft 365 at work. I will show you tips and tricks how to improve your productivity using SharePoint document libraries. One of the greatest features of the SharePoint Online are document libraries. This is the space where you can store your documents and share them with your team or whole organization. When you're using Microsoft Teams and you store the documents using exactly the same functionality there, I'm quite sure that you already upload a lot of documents to your Office 365 through Teams or directly to your SharePoint Online. I prepared for you the video with top tips and tricks that will help you to work more productive way on your documents using SharePoint or Microsoft Teams. You will learn how to improve your productivity and really cool features which at first you can miss using SharePoint or Teams to the document-based collaboration. If you will like this video, please leave the thumbs up. If you would like to subscribe and get the notification about the new videos, please click subscribe. And now I will show you the best features of Microsoft SharePoint Online document libraries, which will help you to work better way with your colleagues. All cool features I will present you today will work on SharePoint Online, which is also the part of Microsoft Teams, but hidden in the background. So before we will move forward, I want to show you how to get from files hosted in Microsoft Teams by one click to SharePoint Online, which is hidden behind it. Here it is, small button prepared by Microsoft, open in SharePoint. This button will navigate you to your SharePoint Online when you can do all the cool stuff I will present today. SharePoint library from perspective of using something called metadata is exactly the same as SharePoint list. It is possible to add additional columns that will describe your documents or your folders with additional fields or if you prefer to call it metadata. This is the alternative solution that could extend the way how you work with your files when you compare it with the nasty folders that you need to build and then put the files inside it. The navigation based on that is always difficult because you need to go inside the folder, go back and then search for the file this way. Using the metadata gives you that possibility on top of the flat structure of the files based on the filtering solution. Let's see how it could look like. Setting additional metadata is super easy. This is just the small configuration that you need to add. As soon as you will add it, the new metadata column will be presented on your structure and you can assign that metadata to your files. You can see how easier it will be to see what type of document is this file hosted in the document library. Moreover, you can filter the data through the important information you have here. Thanks to that, you can easily find the information you're looking for through metadata, which you will extend to the default view of document libraries. This is something that is very often missed by people that storing the files, get rid of nasty folders use more of metadata. Another great feature that is delivered by document libraries in SharePoint is possibility to pin documents to the top of the navigation, something which is very simple but could focus your business users on the most important documents you want to highlight when they jump into your document library. Again, this is a very simple solution that allows you to put your colleagues focus to the very specific documents you want to highlight. You can see it looks very nice and at the very first step when you jump into the document library, you focus on the documents that are highlighted in here. Very simple solution which you can manage by few clicks and which is quite often missed by people who are storing a large volume of the documents on SharePoint. The third functionality I would like to share with you today is integration with the OneDrive. You will find two buttons on the top navigation of the library. The first icon will add the shortcut to this library in your OneDrive. You will have easy way to navigate back in here directly from your OneDrive folder. So let's see how it looks like in your OneDrive. 
You can see we have a lot of different folders and files in here and we have direct link to the intranet website on SharePoint when the documents are hosted. You can easily navigate directly from your OneDrive to specific SharePoint document library. Again, this is something that could speed up the way how you work with the multiple sources of the files using SharePoint Online and OneDrive. The second part of the integration with OneDrive on the SharePoint is possibility to sync the whole library to your local PC. This is great functionality if you have users who prefer to work on their desktop rather than online. If you would like to move people from shared drives to SharePoint Online, giving them possibility to sync their data directly to their PCs will be something that can convince them to switch on to the new solution. When you will confirm that, your OneDrive will start to sync your SharePoint data and you will have possibility to work offline and directly from your PC. When you will navigate to your local PC to the folder, you will see that all files will be synced back in here and you can work with them directly from your local PC. This is a very handful solution for many of your users and it gives you possibility to work offline with these files and then all changes will be synced back to cloud as soon as you will get access to the internet. The fourth very useful functionality which I would like to highlight today is the full text search present in the SharePoint. It is easy to miss that functionality because this is moved to the top navigation of the SharePoint bar and if you will pass any phrase in here it will go through the whole content of all files and check if that kind of statement is present there. It could be very useful in case when you're looking for the very specific phrase that could be stored in any of the files which is present present somewhere in your document library, especially in the large volume of the files. Like if you will imagine that you will look for the some kind of prohibited statement by law in your contracts, you can easily found it based on content of the files. Of course, this is a very basic example, but still it exactly shows that this search is full text search engine and it gives you possibility to found exact statements in all possible indexed files like Word, Excel, PowerPoint or searchable PDF files. If you have large volumes of the files, again, this is something that could help you to found documents faster. The last feature I would like to recommend for you is version history. Something that is a little hidden because you need to navigate to the context menu of the file and then search for the version history. Every file hosted in the SharePoint have the version history. So all changes are saved and you can track them, reverse them or check exactly what was changed by whom and when. You can exactly see when metadata were changed where files were changed and how the files looks at the very beginning. Again, on my examples, you can see very basic files, but when you're working with your colleagues on the contract, it's easy to track the changes using that kind of functionality. You can open the version of the file from the past and see how the files looks then. Moreover, Word will give you the possibility to restore this version or compare it with the latest version of the file. If you will work on the more complex files, this functionality is really life-saving from perspective of losing part of the file. You can see document libraries in SharePoint offers a lot and this is just the first package of tips and tricks that highlight the greatest features that are present there. Try to work with them and improve the way how you store and organize your documents and start building on top of document libraries your business processes and your applications focus on the transfer of the documents between the users or approval processes. Document libraries on SharePoint offers a lot of features that supports that. Believe me, this is the greatest place to work on documents and to organize the way how you store them when you're working with other colleagues in your organization. If you would like to see more about document libraries, check the following videos. I will dig in this topic more. Thank you for watching and see you in next episode.